All right, so how am I supposed to introduce this? Um, it's a tutorial spirit gum. A tutorial about spirit gum. Yes. I mean, what? putting prosthetics on with spirit gum. Yeah, yeah, I know, I know. Okay. How yeah. to glue shit to your face. How to glue shit to your face. But what kind of information do I need to introduce it? Um, I don't know. It's spirit gum. Um, like what it's useful for, what they could use it for, and... Just, it's spirit gum. It's spirit gum. Which I should probably have before starting this, right? Oh, yeah, I don't, um, here it is. Ah! Okay. Alright. Are you gonna start it? It started. Hi! <laughs> My name's Chris. I am DeviantArt user Kellen, and this is my lovely wife, DeviantArt user Taliak. Greetings. Hello and welcome. Alright, you've never seen Chris before in a video, but uh, this time I had to wrangle him. We're doing a video on what is spirit gum and how to put things on with it, because I get a lot of people who say, spirit gum never works for me, it doesn't stick, it doesn't, nothing works, so, um, odds Do they are, really say that to you? Yes. 90% of the time, it's just that you're putting it on incorrectly. Now, there are about 10% of people who do have weird skin chemical issues where spirit gum never really gets tacky. I'm one of them. Um, and you need to use medical adhesive, which follow the directions on the bottle. Ah, uh, it's really expensive. expensive. <laughs> but if spirit gum even kind of works for you. You can make it work. You just need to let it sit on longer if you have weird skin chemical conditions. So oh, Wait, wait, wait. Um... You think there's going to be too much glare off my braces? No, haha. Ha. He's funny. Hey. Um, this is what spirit gum looks like. It is, this is a small bottle of Ben Nye spirit gum. You should be able to get, it's a 0.25 fluid ounces. You should be able to get this for about $2 at a costume supply place or Halloween place. Um, it usually comes with a spirit gum remover too, which I highly recommend you get. But if not, we'll talk about how you can get it off later, too, without using that. Um, yeah, and this is just standard spirit gum. Test it. Make sure you're not allergic to it like anything makeup related. Yeah. I have a question. Now, how much spirit gum do you really need? It comes in little bottles and bigger and bigger and bigger, and I've seen really big honking ones, too. This, I've had this bottle of it for two years now, and I've used about half of it. So, depending how often you put prosthetics on, this should put on something, like we're going to put on one of my nifty little leather eye patch things, um, because it just uses a very little bit, just like the demon horns I've been making, too. Uh, this will last you for ages. Um, if it does get crystally, throw it out and buy some more. So, it's good for putting stuff onto your face. Yes, gluing shit to yourself. Gluing shit to yourself. Like, maybe to your arm, too? You could do anything. Just to glue, you. Gluing shit to, to your yourself. person. Yes. Okay. Okay. Got it. Take your glasses off. Um, you want to make sure the area you're putting this on is clean and dry. It's a little humid here, so we look a little shiny because there's a ton of lights, but clean. Um, whatever you're gluing to yourself should also be cleaned. It's best to use, like, um, like an alcohol pad to get any excess oils off of it. So in this case, since this has very specific spacing, we're going to first put a little bit of spirit gum on the white plastic bits here, because that's, it's a non-porous surface. That's another important thing with spirit gum, mm. is you want to put it on a non-porous surface, otherwise it'll just absorb it. Like if I just put this straight on the leather, the leather would absorb it all and it wouldn't stick. Enough to cover, but not globbing it on, yeah. right? Well, okay. right now, what we're going to do is get an idea of the placement. You want to hold up that, that just, so they can see the tabs? Yeah, I've already pointed it. Okay. Um, we just want to get a rough idea of the placement. So I'm just dabbing it on, and you can kind of see I need to put some spirit gum right here and some right here on his nose. Now, spirit gum is a two-part adhesive, which means there needs to be glue on both the face or wherever you're putting it and the product you're putting it on. So you want to put a good coating of it. You don't want to cake it. And I'm going to put some more back on... Here, hold this. I'm going to put some more back on the uh, prosthetic or whatever I'm gluing to the face. Just don't gob it on, but you want to make sure there's a good coating of it. And now this is where most people screw up with spirit gum 
is they go, I have it here, I have it on my face, I can just slap the prosthetic to the face. And you can't. You've got to wait for this stuff to dry to, till it's tacky, basically. Now, why? what would happen if we just put it on right now and held it on there for a little while? What would happen? Uh, it would slide off your face. It would just slide right off your face. It would never get tacky. It needs to get tacky before it actually holds. So that's why we're just waving this around, help, helping it to dry a little bit. Um, you can blow some air at my face. No, nah, that's okay. Um, <laughs> ah. um, you want to make sure it's tacky. Touch it with a clean back of your fingernail and just touch around the edge. And that's still too goopy. Um, you'll be able to tell it'll actually lift the skin away a little bit when you tap it. Um, for the most part with spirit gum, it's better for it to be too dry than not dry enough. Because if it's not dry enough, it'll just slide off. I, I can make a good comparison if you don't mind. Uh, if any of you have ever used uh, rubber cement for modeling and things like that, how it's really, really thick, it's very viscous... That should be the kind of consistency that we're going for, maybe even a little bit more. Like, almost the solid point, more so than liquid. Can I put this back? Yeah. Okay. So this is all you do, is you just sit here and wait. I hope I'm in frame. You know that? I hope you are, too. I kind of didn't really check. Do you want to Do you want to stay here and I'll go check? No, it's okay. Okay. I'll probably be cut off from, like, here down, so it'll just be my boobs in the frame. That's okay. It's the best part of me. It works. <sighs> So, what are some things you could do for three to five minutes while this is drying? You've got to have ideas. Well... You could go play Pokemon. You could go play Pokemon. You could go check the oil in your car. <coughs> uh, maybe you could pick up some garbage around your area where you're doing this. Are you saying I have garbage on my floor? A little. <coughs> this is your workspace. Oh it's not garbage, it's um, um, scraps. Uh, let's see. You could go find your cat slash dog slash bird, other household pet, and give it a good pet and say, oh, you're so cute. And then come back and test it. All right, it's starting to get there on his face. You can kind of see, I can uh, probably can't see, but it's just starting to pull the skin away. In my face? In your face. <laughs> <laughs>